Hey there, and welcome back to Finding My Wings. We're boxing something a little special and a little rare here today. So as you can see, we have an order from Arrowwolf. That was an awesome little comic strip of a <laughs> monster shark fighting a monster shark with a 240X skirt and by. Uh, I have to, you know, inquire and probably find out exactly what this fits into or if I have to collect them all kind of a thing, but awesome original artwork by the looks of it. Got some awesome stickers, Airwolf USA, look them up, and of course the Airwolf logo here, a must have. So these are limited drop, I had fallen in love with them on an Instagram build that I found and finally found where they were and what they were. So I actually got two of these, these are the smoked, these are just dark smoked. I got the lights going here because it feels like it fits. And this will show up better in a minute, but this is a limited edition reflective amber. These are Gandor style mirror visors. So let's get into it. So what's in this package? So this is an awesome, cool anime card here showing a shark versus another shark. Yep, looks like two sharks. And a little 240SX. The guy pretty scared. I think this is part of a series. Airwolf puts a lot of these in their packages when he sends them out. Very, very cool. I like this. I'm going to hold on to it. Probably put it in my initial D display or something like that. Two stickers, of course. The Airwolf one, which is classic and awesome. I'll find somewhere else and put this. And then the actual wolf, which I had to have. Now, these are two Gandor mirror visors. And so this is a limited edition reflective amber color, and you can see the Arrowwolf logo there. Uh, and we do have the smoked version as well. So this is just kind of black smoked. Uh, you can see through it, as you can see there. Now, my decision today is that I do have both of these. Now, originally I thought maybe I could buy one, sell one, pick which one I would like the most. But we live in Canada, so ultimately, Things kind of fall off this car, especially going through winter. So I have really decided to install our smoked ones. They work really well with the car in the state that it's in right now. If we ever wanted, we could take these off if the car gets more complete earlier than I think it will uh, and put these on, which will match some other stuff going onto the car. I love that color. Oh, look at that. Great job, Arrowwolf. Those are beautiful. Uh, but I want to kind of hold these, reserve these. These are limited edition. Uh, I'm one of, I think, like 50 that are made uh, so far in the world. Um, but these are a reflective coating on them on the back. So my idea is that if I installed these day one, these actually might disintegrate a little bit and not do well with corrosion in the winter specifically. And so to put these on first, we'll actually get it on there. I love the look. I wanted the smoked one specifically, and then they launched these. So it's still what I wanted to put on it. And then one day we'll either pull these off, give them to someone I like, <laughs> or we'll just wait until they disintegrate, or we have a reason to put these on and hold on to these ones. So, let's talk about these. It almost hurts to take stuff off. All of the branding is just so good here. Uh, but we get another little sticker in here. I think I have a good idea of where I'm going to put this. And then we have our mirror visors. So, if you don't know, Gandor is actually a mirror company. And so they make rear view mirrors and a few other things for cars. Uh, most in the 90s in Japan. And so RX-7s, uh, some Skylines, a bunch of stuff did come with Gandor mirrors. Now, this is not a 90s JDM car. This is a modern GT86 FRS. So they did design these so they will actually fit right here. And so you get this mirror visor. Now, I saw a car on Instagram running these and I really loved the look. I became a little bit obsessed until I figured out where they came from. And then I finally ordered a pair after a long time of waiting. So if you don't know, these are limited drop. Uh, he only makes a bunch at a time. I do believe that Low Origin sells a set as well, but they're a lot bigger and they're a lot thicker. They're not as clear as these are, so I didn't really like them as much. These are really simple to install. We really just have to line it up here and stick it on. Before I forget, we have this awesome candy in here too. So it's a peach gummy candy. And have this while you're installing it and make it even that much more sweet. So thank you for these. So let's get to this install. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of cleaner on a paper towel. And take it and I'm just gonna rub it on this inside, this upper ledge in here. And so we're gonna try to clean this as much as we possibly can. This is pretty radical cleaner, so I'm gonna try not to get it on my mirror as much either. Uh, we just wanna clean this surface. And we're gonna go pretty close to the edge when we install this too. Uh, so it shouldn't be 
too bad. We just need to get this edge cleared off. Nice. So next up, you're really gonna wanna test fit these and make sure you're really comfortable. It's gonna be hard to show exactly with two hands, but I'm just gonna press this on here until I find a really comfortable position for it. I'm gonna put this pretty close to the outside so the mirror can still move around a bit. Uh, you might be able to see that it makes contact. I'll show a bit, of it, bit more of this after, uh, but potentially if you put the mirror really down, it could make contact. It's not something I'm actually worried about, Day-to-day uh, -day driving, this mirror's in the exact position I want it to be in. It'll never be in that ex extreme of a position, but closer to the outside is better. But we're gonna try to get all this adhesive actually stuck on there so none of it sticks out. Like so. So to get the positioning correct here, it does stick out probably a little bit more than I want. So I'm actually glad that I <laughs> used the ones I don't like as much the first time, because when we take these off and put the amber ones back on, this should look proper, but right now it's a look that I really dig. I just have it like having this extra little flare on here. It's a little piece of the JDM story here. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do these look weird? Are they pointless? Uh, these are about 40 bucks, I think. So I don't know. Is that worth it to you? I really like it. I think from the driving position, uh, they're not too obtrusive or anything like that. But it just gives it an extra little bit of flair and something you won't see. I also really like how these lines line up on the mirror. Uh, it's not obtrusive at all, so it's quite good. Okay, and we did the passenger side too. Now, I want to be honest about something. I don't know if I did the greatest job installing these. As you can see in the corner here, it didn't completely fit. Now, it says that you can use a heat gun to reform these a little bit. They're not really made to fit this chassis. And so I'm glad that I did the smoked ones first here <laughs> because these are gonna come off at some point. And you can actually buy just this 3M tape too. So they're not junk or garbage or anything like that, but I'm gonna own up, didn't install these great, tried to rip them off and they seem to be a little bit less happy again. Uh, so I'm probably gonna keep them on the way that they are and try to put a bunch of pressure on this for the next little bit. Uh, and then You'll see why I'm waiting to put the amber ones on. You will see shortly. Uh, there's some hints. There's some hints in the picture right now, actually. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna own up. The best way to do it with an FRS BRZ is to probably actually use a heat gun and form this a little bit. This curve is a little bit less severe than the actual mirror curve, as you can see. And so this middle ground didn't line up properly. I'm gonna try to put some pressure on this right away. And comparatively, uh, this side actually did stick a little bit better on the interior corner there. I applied this one more as a whole, where the other one I tried to stick this edge on first, so apparently applying this as a whole fits a little better. The only thing I don't like is these maybe stick out a little bit too much. Didn't really look like it when I was applying it, but it does stick out a little bit on that adhesive, so. I mean, all the more reason to put my amber ones on. Limited edition ambers that we will install. So, this is basically wrapped up, but. Hot Wheels Collector. I ordered this literally a year ago, and they back ordered it, and they never shipped it. But look, Ma, I bought a Cybertruck. That's right, it's the 164 scale Hot Wheels Cybertruck. This is pretty cool. I really like the Cybertruck. I really hope to be able to plan to get one of these in the near future. I think that's kind of what I'm saving up for as far as another daily driver. But let's take this thing out and see what it does. So this will actually fit on a standard Hot Wheels track, which is kind of why I liked it. And it was a lot cheaper than the full 110 scale version, which was pretty cool. But, oh, it comes actually with a piece of Hot Wheels track too. That's kind of cool. So we got our little Cybertruck up here. I think this thing just rolls if you want to as well. You can just use it like a Hot Wheels. Or you can use the controller. Uh, let me figure out how to get this all out of here. Okay. Okay. Noise. No batteries in here. I'm just gonna rip this tape off, I guess. It should be good. All right. Here it is. Our 164 scale Hot Wheels Cybertruck. So you can just use this like a Hot Wheels if you want. Just on display or putting it in a track. 
This doesn't have the broken window decal as far as I can tell, but it does roll perfectly fine. Look at that. Childhood drawing. Dream come true. Now on the bottom here, we just have a on off switch as well as a charging port. But I don't see a cord anywhere here. Nothing. Compartment? Ah, we have a cord shoved in the compartment. Well, that's cool. At least I made this a complete package. That's kind of nice. All right, so apparently all of my AA batteries are dead. I had no idea when this thing was coming, but I wanted to include it in this video. So tune back into the next video for some footage of this thing driving around. We'll add it at the end. It won't be a full video, of course, but if you want to know what you're getting with the 164 scale Cybertruck, it's this guy. So, let me know what you think. Got our Cybertruck here. I want to put these covers on. Just keep it a little more clean. Plus, it's like a touch more aerodynamic than just having a flat piece of something on here. And yeah, I didn't clean my car. I use it. I use it every day. So, it's not clean. It'll be clean in videos where it's supposed to look pretty, but it's not supposed to look pretty today. Uh, and then we got our Aerowolf visors on here. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Jesse with Find My Wings. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and come back. We're gonna have some cool stuff coming for you here shortly. So things are opening up and I actually have other videos in the works. This was just a little placeholder because I didn't release anything on the weekend and that's my fault. So check back, this is Find My Wings. Matt for us. We'll see some of my other cars really shortly.